Hey guys, it's hey guys. the Mohimakai <laughs> Show, and today we are going to talk about hair. So, Dad, this is more so uh, your topic, Yeah. so you can go ahead and tell the Saints how you got into the business, and uh, yeah, story time. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I started doing hair, really believe it or not, when I was seven years old. And uh, that's how I got into doing hair. I was like amazed at seeing an afro go into this braided hairstyle. And I thought that that was just like art. I was actually mesmerized by um, this young lady used to braid my mom's hair. I used to watch all the time. And one day I said, told my mom, I said, I can braid your hair. She was like, boy, get out of here. And I was playing in her hair. And um, when she fell asleep, when she woke up, her head was braided. From there, my sister started asking me to braid her daughter's hair. Then my sister was like, my girlfriends like the way you braid my daughter's hair. They want to pay you to do their daughter's hair. I didn't want to do that, but She's like, you can make money. And I was like, I can make money. So I started braiding my sister's girlfriend's hair and it led from that to other people. And I was doing hair. You was making money, huh? I was making money. When I was in high school, I had a whole clientele. Excuse I had a clientele. Me, clientele. I would you come, better do that. I would come home after school and have people waiting at my uh, door for me to braid their hair. Come on, hey. Yes. So, uh, it was this girl. She had. Uh, she was in school. I was in the lunch lunch cafeteria. I'll never forget it. And she had extensions in her hair. And I didn't. I didn't know what extensions was at the time. Like, like you know, braided extensions, like for braids. She kept. She kept braiding her hair. She would braid it, then unbraid it. Like, really? yeah, like I wanted to know what that was. And so Elver, you just braiding natural hair. I was right. Oh. So I saw that across the room, and I was like, I, I was like, oh my gosh, she got it. You know, at the time, I didn't know oh, nothing about extensions. Oh, you had never braided somebody's I never, hair. I, I never did extensions. Mm, okay. So I went, okay, 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 and I okay. went over to the young lady, and I said, show me how to do that. And she showed me how to do it. I said, show me again. She did it again. I said, show me one more time. She did it again. And then I said, let me do it. And I braided her hair. And I was like, I got it. I went home and told my mother to take me to the wig store to get some hair. <laughs> and then I got my niece. And I got her to come over, and I added extensions in her hair. And I did her whole head in extensions. And then I went from that to um, weave. weave. I wanted to know how to do a weave. I saw girls getting it done. So I paid, I had, so for me doing braids and braiding people hair, I used to have money. So I wanted to learn how to do a weave. So I made an appointment for my mom to get her hair done. And I watched a man do a weave in her hair. And I was all up in, you know, all up in it. He's like, boy, he's so interested in doing this weave. I said, I just think it's just, you know, exciting. He didn't know I wanted to do hair. He had no idea, but I was watching. I went home and I took the weave out and put it back in. Kareem, let you do that? Uh, she let me do that. But for a couple of clients, I did them for free because I wanted to know how to do it. Next thing I was doing weave, I was good. I was good in my craft. Now, I've got 32 years in the business of being a cosmetologist and doing it. What do you think about the natural hair movement? Let's get into that. Because I recently just did the big chop guy. Now I've got the little Cleo braids going to the back. Natural hair is not for everybody. Everybody don't look good in natural I hair. I think very possible to get... look sloppy with weave too. Think, well, let me finish. I think because I think some girls is like using it as a platform to just look sloppy. I think it's for everybody. I think you just have to know how to take care of your hair type properly. Not every natural hair care product on the market is for people with natural hair. Uh -uh. I, I do agree. You need to find out what your hair type is, learn how to manipulate your um, hair type. I always say like when it comes to fashion and hair and makeup and stuff like that, I shouldn't see one uh, portion of you. I shouldn't, the first thing I should see is your hair. I should see you as one palette. Yeah. As one palette from your hair to your face to your, to your feet. 
to your hands. You, you know, it should be your best at all times. Sunday's best. Amen? Okay. <laughs> yes. Amen. Sunday's best. Come on. You have to winterize your hair. Did you know that? <sighs> okay. Hold on. Is that a word? Winterize? Well, we're going to make it a word right now. You Ooh. have to winterize Webster, y'all hear that? You have to this web. a word if now. If it's not out there, I'm, I'm letting it's you know. It's a word today. Bloop. This is the thing. A lot of times women be like, and, and especially around this time, they're coming to the song, why is my hair shedding? My hair is just constantly shedding. It's breaking and shedding because it's dry. Oils. Yeah. It shouldn't be dry. We black. We don't do that over here. Over conditioning in the wintertime. Moisture creams, leave-ins. You have to put that moisture. You have to put that moisture Get back. Some oils. So oh, that's wait, not that's, oils. That's but techie see, glue. See, Never see. mind. Oh, see, that's see. techie glue. I don't know if y'all know this, but listen, the wigs are on the rise. I remember I used to tell my dad all the time, you will never catch me in a wig because what if something happened? Listen, y'all, first wig I made, which was this one, I passed out in the nail shop and the wig fell off. I like me, I like to change up my style. Like today, I had this on. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna put on my head. Like, I just like to give you a new person every day and then I can take it all, moisturize my scalp, put my bonnet on, like, and then, what, when was the last time I had a weave? Oh, when I went to New York Fashion Week, I had a weave, I hated it because I had been wearing a wig, like, this is January. Well, you hated it because you had to weave in there too long. How about that? No, 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 because we're going to explain you this story. You shouldn't have a weave in your hair three months. Terrible. I That's did not terrible. have the weave in my hair for three months. It was two months. You could That's even worse. That? You shouldn't keep a weave in your hair, really. If you can afford, you should not keep a weave in your hair no longer than a month. I'm going to tell y'all what happened, give you the real breakdown. You know, y'all, some of y'all got the weave uh, uh, ministry. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all want to keep it... A, Three months, six months, that's nasty. That's not even sanitized. That's disgusting. I'm just keeping it real. Tell them, okay. tell them the truth. Anyways, guys, um, if you'd like to see more videos like this and more videos of us, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hello. Follow us on social media. Follow me at Trinity and Bryant on Instagram. Add me as a friend on Facebook. You can also sign on Facebook. And you can email me too. That's dbryant456 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, if you'd like to know where my salon is here in Buffalo, New York. If you guys have any suggestions for our next video or something that you would like for us to talk about, please. In particular. Don't be afraid to put it in the comment section. Until next time, saints and ain't. Y'all be blessed. Be blessed. Peace. Bye.